Well, Margaret, you'll never guess who's in jail again early this morning. <laughs> and I'm being sarcastic by that. Ugh, oh, gee. Does his name start with Louis Evergreen? You guessed it. The boy who was born to raise hell in this town. Yep, and born to a daddy and mama who can get him out of it. How old is the little devil nowadays? He's going on 22. And never re-enrolled in any colleges after getting kicked out of that real expensive one, right? No, ma'am. He blew it up and lit that flag on fire. He didn't realize that freedom of speech did not apply when he attached it to his frat house. Then it was just called arson. So what flag was it anyway? A Wofford University flag? The rival team. Ugh, Lord have mercy. It was the one thing Daddy Wesley couldn't get out of him. He didn't have any sway with anyone that far up north. Uh-huh, I see. Not liking our little southern town, which he seems too damn near own. It's disgusting, isn't it? And they seem to let that kid get away with anything he wants. He could shoot somebody in the middle of Strawberry Street, and Sheriff Evergreen wouldn't lose a single vote. Well, you aren't going to believe what he got busted and bailed out immediately for this time. Uh, what? Stealing Pastor Jacoby's church van. Oh, Lord, help us, everyone. I know, it's truly deplorable. I mean, I would never let my Braden get away with that. He'd be grounded for damn near a century. Thank God he's grown. But he would never have done anything like that anyway. He wasn't that feral. Yeah... Not like my Michael would've, right? Now I didn't say that. But you thought so. Maybe inadvertently, yes. It's okay, hon. I don't blame you. Mikey was a menace back in the day. But he straightened out too. And he never stole a car, much less the church van. And if he had, you and Nate would've let him sit in the holding cell for a few days to think about it, I'm sure. Oh, yes. You bet your keister he would. Well, you know what? I'm tired of this kid getting away with it. I am too. But what do you propose? The paperwork on it will probably be shredded by the time I get there for the second shift. No, they won't. I made copies. Well, I'll be. What are you going to do with them? I don't know. Probably nothing. But I suppose they could do some kind of... Uh, what's the word for it? It's on the tip of my tongue. Insurance? There you go, insurance. Well, I'm with you, girl. I'm tired of the corruption in Sheriff Evergreen's old boys club. It's time for the department to change. Don't you think? It's been time to change for 50 years, Margaret. Let's try and change it. Hello, Sheriff Cliff. How are you doing today? Oh, Justine, hello. How's it going up front in the office? Keeping busy, I suppose. Um, yes, sir, as always. How long have you been with the department now, Justine? Well, by my count, Sheriff, 27 years, three months and two weeks. Hmm, and it's Wednesday, around noon, so in two and a half days? I suppose so, sir. You aren't counting your days down to retirement or anything, are you? No, sir. I'm just very good with numbers. Uh-huh. I bet you are. And what about your little friend, Margaret? Uh, how long has she been with us now? I'd say around 25 years or maybe 8 or 9 months. I'm not sure on the exact dates with her. She probably isn't either. She's the exact opposite of me. And yet she's a secretary, too. Which one of you do you think is better at your job, do you think? I think we're both fantastic at our jobs. Oh, I bet you are. Well, anyway, what can I do for you, darling? Um, well, first of all, I'd appreciate if you didn't call me darling. But what are you talking about? I've been calling you darling ever since you started here. Are those young girls in the office politics rubbing off on you or something? No, I just think I deserve a little more respect. After all the years I've put in here at the department. All right, all right. Anyway, what do you need? Well, I wanted to talk to you about an arrest we had last night. Oh, and which one would that be? We don't have that many. Um, well, sir, it's about Lewis Evergreen. Uh, Lewis Evergreen, I see. And what do you have to say about him? Well, sir, I'm just wondering why that boy seems to get away with everything and anything he feels like doing in this town. 
Oh, you do, do you? Yes, sir. I mean, it hardly seems fair, does it? The boy was arrested for grand theft auto last night and back on the street with charges dropped within a matter of hours. Excuse me, Justine. Um, yes? Could you remind me again what your job title is? Um, I'm the head of security at the department. That's right, the head secretary. And don't you think it's funny that we still call you the secretary even after all these years when that word has long since changed? Funny? No, sir. In fact, I find it rather obnoxious. Yes, well, it must give you a hint as to how our department is run. And how is that? With the women knowing their place and not asking so many dang questions. Excuse me? There you go, asking questions again. Maybe you just don't need to know everything, Justine. Have you ever thought of that? It's not right that that boy gets special treatment just because of who his daddy is, Sheriff. And you know that. Well, take it up with the citizens, Justine. They voted for me as their sheriff for 22 years running now. Yeah, well, the election is this fall, so who knows what could happen. No, excuse me. Now, Justine, I'm the sheriff of this county and this department, and I won't tolerate you talking to me like that. You may have been here longer than me, but that doesn't mean I'm going to put up with your insubordination. Yes, sir. Great. Now get back to work before you find yourself in a world of hurt. Well, did you talk to the sheriff? What did he say about the boy prince of our little town? Well, hun, he basically told me where to shove it. Ugh, what a piece of crap! A misogynistic piece of crap. He basically said that a woman needs to be put in her place. So, what is the nature of the relationship between the sheriff and the Evergreens anyway? What do you mean? I mean, how far back do they go? Oh well, Evergreen Sr. has had all the businesses in this town going back three generations now. And the sheriff has had his title for 22 years. I'd say about that far. But that's not as long as we've been with the force. What do you mean? I mean... We've got access to a lot of files, and we know a lot of people. Are you crazy, Margaret? We can't go rooting around in all the files. Relax, okay? Maybe it won't get to that. I know Madeline Evergreen, you know. We go way back. You do? How is that? I went to high school with her. What do you mean? We went to the same high school. She didn't go to high school with us. I went to St. Mary's for the first quarter of my freshman year, remember? Oh, yes, that's right. What happened with that? I'd rather not talk about that. Thank you very much. That's been your response for 44 years now. And it will continue to be until my grave. One day I'll get it out of you. Well, anyway... I've seen her around, of course. We both stayed here. It's hard not to know everyone in these towns. So what's she like? Is she exactly how I'd expect her to be? And how do you expect her to be? You know, uppity, high maintenance, stuck up. Well, then you'd be right about that. She's the one who ruins the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Oh, she's the one who got into the fist fight with the kindergarten teacher in front of the kids? Yep. That's right. Apparently, Justine wanted some of the kids dressed as Native Americans to, um, paint their faces red. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah. Well, good luck talking to her then, hun. Uh, yeah. Maybe this is a bad idea after all. I guess I talked myself into it now, though. I do believe you did. So... What am I going to say to her then? I have to have some kind of plan, right? What are we hoping that she'll tell us? Well, I guess anything that we could somehow use against these corrupt mothers? You know what? I'm gonna wash your mouth out with soap. As long as I can pick the soap. All right, deal. Hello, Madeline. How you doing, hon? Um, who is this? It's Margaret, Madeline. Margaret Dolan. Oh, uh, Margaret Dolan. Yeah, how are you doing? 
Been a long time, huh? Well, it ain't been too long. I just saw you at the gym a few months ago. Remember? Um, oh, yeah, sure. Well, I don't work out there anymore. I go to Lotus Flowers Salon and Day Spa now. Oh, they have a gym? Um, isn't that kind of far away into the city? Yeah, but it's worth it. Besides, I have the time. It's not like I have to work. Um, right. So anyway, what can I do for you, dear? I'm a little busy. I'm about to get a massage. At the Lotus? Uh, no. A local girl that comes to my house. I'd give you her name, but she's pretty expensive. That's okay. Thanks, anyway. But my husband gives me a great massage. You remember Michael? Uh, no. I don't. Sorry. Oh. Uh... Well, what can I do for you? Oh, I just wanted to catch up, you know? Shoot the breeze. See how the family was doing. The family? What do you mean? Oh, well... You know, Wesley and Lois? They're fine. Why do you ask? You know, I remember when Lois was born. Lord, it seems like only yesterday, right? How time flies. Yes, I suppose so. He has, um, grown up fast. My own kids, they had some trouble streaks, but they were good kids, you know? Sure, I wasn't a perfect parent, but I tried my best, and that's all you can do. You know what I mean? I suppose so. But why are you telling me all of this, Margaret? Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I guess I just got on a tangent. My kids don't listen to me. But of course, you just have the one. Well, yes. So what? You know... I always thought that Lewis was such a handsome boy. And he's turned into such a handsome young man, too. Don't you think? Well, absolutely, I think so. Why do you think he has to fight all the girls off? Right, of course. That's my point exactly. He favors his mother in the looks department. No offense. None taken, Margaret. I see it as a compliment. And you're smart, too, then. He's such a smart boy. Well, I don't know about that, to be honest with you. Oh, nah. Come on, he's smart. Then why didn't he stay in school? Why did he get such terrible grades and flunk out? Flunk out? He wasn't kicked out for something? No, of course not. His troubled days are long behind him, Margaret. Oh, really? So, he hasn't been arrested or anything for a long time? Of course not. And I would know. He still lives at home, for crying out loud. And he even has a job. And what is this job? He's an entrepreneur. He and his friends are developing an energy drink called Blue Cow. He says it's going to blow Red Bull out of the water. So, he's not stolen any cars lately? Stolen any cars lately? What, are you out of your mind? No, of course not. Okay, I was just, um, just wondering. Are you on some kind of official police business or something? No, no, of course not. Aren't you just a secretary or something? Yeah, Madeline, I didn't mean anything by it, actually. Um, it was just a joke. A joke? Yeah, yeah. Um... Justine put me up to it. So let me get this straight. Justine put you up to asking me if my son has stolen any cars lately? Yeah, it was a dare. Some stupid game. I had to call someone. Sorry. Well, it sounds like a stupid game. Goodbye, Margaret. Sorry to bother you, Madeline. Thanks again. You, uh, helped me score ten points. Uh, whatever. Hey Mag, did you ever talk to Madeline Evergreen? Did you ever find out anything juicy about the family? Um, well, no. Not exactly. Not exactly? Huh? Then what? What did you find out? I'll tell you what I found out. 
It seems that Wesley Evergreen and his son have been hiding the truth from Madeline. The truth? The truth about what then? About Lewis and all of his misdeeds. About getting kicked out of school. About the arrests, the bailouts, all the dropped charges over the years. Are you sure she isn't just like in some kind of deep denial? I don't know. I reckon it could be possible, but I don't know. So in other words, all we got from her was that she doesn't know squat. I suppose so, but what do we do with that? Well, we could show her the files on him. But are there any? I thought of that after we talked. Oh yeah? I suppose that they're all either hidden or destroyed. Damn. How do we get it out there? That this department is corrupt and that the islands are too. And without them squashing the story first, the Evergreens own the dang paper. Um, paper? How about TV stations? The local news? They'll own them too. Damn! Hey, I know what. You got an idea? What is it? What if we started a Facebook group or something? A Facebook group? What do you mean? You know, like an anonymous thing about the corruption in our town. Well, no. I suppose that could work. People are all about conspiracies and stuff these days. So how about you set that up then? Me? I don't know how to set up a Facebook group. Well, I don't either. How about we get one of the grandkids to do it then? Oh, great idea. We can call it the Evergreen Sheriff Cliff Conspiracy page. Uh, I don't know about that, Justine. Why not? I think it's got a pretty good ring to it. Yeah, but conspiracies are getting a bad rap these days. We just need to get people talking. Oh, so you're saying that less is more then? At least at first. Okay, well I'll talk to you later, Jaden, and we'll get this page up and running. We'll make sure this whole town is outraged by what their so-called leaders are up to. Uh, hun, you should check to see if the page has any activity. I think you know as well as I do that no one's joining up. Ugh. What the hell is wrong with people in this town? Don't they know that the powers at B have rules for them and rules for us, and theirs are much more appealing? Well, if they do, they're just too dang busy with their own lives and families to worry or do too much about it. Still, I'm just so dang disappointed in our community here. I thought that we'd get a following instantly. That's what I get for getting my hopes up, I guess. We'll hold on for now. There's still time. You think so? Yeah, people could still join for sure. Well, maybe I can get my grandson to make it better or something so more people will join. There you go. Just make it look better. Stories of local corruption should sell themselves after all. Oh, face it, nobody cares. Local corruption might as well be a fart in the wind. Well, you, Justine, there's no reason to be disgusted. Well, it's true. You think anybody around here cares about the corrupt Evergreens or Sheriff Cliff? I don't think so. Oh, come on now. You're talking crazy. People do so care. Just give it some time, okay? Well, okay, fine, if you say so. I'm just so mad. I hate rich kids getting away with whatever they want and then getting no repercussions for it. I know, hun. It ain't right. Well, you know, that's it. I'm doing what we should have done earlier. Um, what's that? It's risky, but I think it just may work. What is it, Justine? Margaret, do you own a wig or fake eyelashes? Wow, what are you going to do? We're going to follow him. Okay, Margaret, I'm right outside the Evergreen Mansion. Ugh, this house is so dang tacky, if you ask me. You ever seen pictures of the inside of that thing? Dang thing? Looks like it was decorated by Southern Martha Stewart. They had that spread in the local paper. Remember? Of course I remember. It was the talk of the beauty parlor. So, what do you see out there? Any activity in the windows? I don't know. The lights are on, but I don't know if anyone's home. Hmm... 
It describes the mental capacity of the whole family, if you ask me. Come on now, Margaret. That's a little mean, don't you think? Well, if the shoe fits. Oh, I think the boy's coming out. He is? On Facebook or something? I always knew it. No, no, no. Out of the house. He's getting into his truck, although you may have a point. Okay. Well, you're going to follow him? I'm on the case. I'll text you later. Can you text and drive at the same time? I'll do the voice to text thing. That thing never works, but okay then. All right, Margaret, you'll never guess where I'm following him to. Where? One of those truck stops? No, at least I don't think so. All the way out in Franklin County, though. Whoa, that's a long way out there. Way out in the sticks. What would that boy be doing all the way out there? I don't know, but we're getting a little ways into town and I'm right on him. We'll be careful. Don't get too close. I ain't that close. Oh, he's stopping in some park somewhere and getting out of his car. This is so weird. You park too? I parked up the block. What's going on? Um, it's a little hard to see, but he appears to be walking up to a gazebo. Is it laid up or something? No, it ain't lit up. All right, all right. Jeez. I can just use my camera and zoom in on him, I guess, right? Hey, now you're thinking like a real youngin. Okay, let me try it out. Well, what do you see? Do you see anything? Oh, wait. Margaret, there's somebody else up there with him, too. Is it a man or a woman? A drug deal? A lover's tryst? It's a girl. A young girl. Well, how young are we talking? I don't know, Margaret. She's got to be 16, 17. Ugh, heavens to Betsy. Whatever she is, she's too young for that 22-year-old man-child. Well, what are you going to do? You can't just sit there and let him... I don't know. Do whatever he's going to do with her. You mean, do what he just did? What did he just do? He planted a big old kiss on her. On her lips? I do believe he did. Well, you can't stand for that, Justine. You got to get out of the car right now and go rescue that girl from that devil man. I'm already on it. You best believe. But... What about the Evergreens, Justine? What about the Sheriff? And our jobs? Oh, well, I don't know. And we're only a few years away from retirement, too. Wait a minute. Now, you say that you're in Franklin County? Oh, yes, yes, I did. Well, you know what that means. The Sheriff has no jurisdiction there. That's right, Margaret. And even if we do get in trouble, who cares? It's the right thing to do. But I'm going to need some proof first. So, you know how to get that, right? How's that? With that fancy phone with the zoom lens, silly. See, that's why I love you, Margaret. You're always thinking. I try to think. Sometimes, something actually happens. Listen, you two. Now that we have this uh, multi-person text technology, I now have the opportunity to chew you both out at the same time. So I'll start with you, Justine, since you're the one who followed Lewis all the way out to Franklin County like some crazy lunatic. All right, sir. I can tell you all about why I did it. Hey, I'm asking the questions around here, woman. Excuse me, Bob, but I don't believe that Justine even asked you a question. Yeah, that's right. I didn't. Man! I just don't understand where you two get off. After all the years that you've been here, you thought you could just go vigilante on me? Well, maybe we did. Do you know how much power the Evergreens hold over this town? What am I saying? Of course you do. Y'all have only been here 60-something years. That's right, Sheriff. And that's why we had enough of it. Enough of what? Having a cushy job where you sat on your butt all day and did hardly nothing. Excuse us? Bail did hardly nothing? Damn it, woman. Stop calling me Bob. I'm the sheriff. Yeah, well, see how long that lasts. Ha! 
What the hell you flapping your gums about? I've been the sheriff on this here county for 22 years. What are you two old ladies going to do about me not getting elected again in November? Well, Bob, that's for us to know and for you to find out. Okay, that's it. Y'all are fired. Both of you. Way to go. Right before you were going to get your retirement and pension. Idiots. We'll see who's the idiot when I run for sheriff and beat your butt all the way to Franklin County and back. You? <laughs> ah, that's rich. Okay, Sheriff. See you on the campaign trail. I can't believe it, babe. We really did it. But honestly, I can't believe it myself. The people have put a lot of trust in you. In us, I suppose. So what's the first order of business going to be? Well, as I promised the people, I'm only going to be the interim sheriff, as my knowledge is vast but limited. Good way to put it. Because we got to clean up the corruption in this force, babe. That's our number one priority. And then we'll get a new sheriff in from someplace else. Someplace with a clean record who isn't a good old boy. That's right, babe. So you heard from Madeline today? You must be joking, right? Well, I didn't know if you'd run into her at the Piggly Wiggly or something. Oh, no. She doesn't go out no more. After all the embarrassment her Lewis put her through? I suppose. Not to mention Wesley. After she found out about all the other stuff he covered up for Lewis. Yeah, that didn't help. Poor woman. I'm glad that girl got away from him before anything worse happened. I told you her parents sent me a big bouquet of flowers. Isn't that weird? I don't know. But at least you got their vote. Yeah, I suppose I did. So as my executive assistant, what would you say our second order of business should be? Hmm. How about an espresso machine in the lunchroom? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Just because you're all hooked on that fancy new coffee shop that opened in town doesn't mean we all are. Oh, come on. Don't you know how expensive that place is? This would save me a fortune. Yeah, I know you saw me in there, remember? But it would cost the department a fortune, too. There are many reasonably priced options out there. Oh, here we go. One year later, after cleaning up the department, Justine handed the sheriff's duties off to Simon Lansing, an excellent ethical young sheriff from Mercer, Georgia. Sheriff Cliff now sits in the house staring at mindless game shows, angry and annoyed at the world. After Lewis's scandal, several of the family members' businesses shuttered, and the Evergreens quietly retired to a small country house. Justine and Margaret got jobs at the local movie theater, where they get free popcorn and are having a great time.